Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, November 1st. How the heck did it get to be November? And it's a cold rainy morning here in southeastern Pennsylvania. I am smoking my 7LE311KS, which I've allowed to go out as I was trying to get the video started. More on that later. Uh, and I am smoking some Boswell's Private Stock. I tell you guys, uh, this was recommended to me by my friend Jack Kurtz. And Jack, you have excellent taste because this is, I'm not a Virginia guy, but this is the kind of Virginia I like. It's a very deep caramel sweetness sort of Virginia. It's one of these, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but you know, broken flake, kind of stringy. Um, so it, it was it was at some point a, a flake form and it's got a pretty reasonable amount of perique in it. Personally I'd like a bit more perique, but it's it's really an excellent blend. If you like vapors, I would highly recommend Boswell's private stock. But I got something to show you. I'm so happy about this. You remember this guy, right? This is Larry Blackett, Buttons for Your Britches, Roadrunner Tamper. Love this thing. Well, look what I got. <laughs> yep, it's Wile E. Coyote, and he's got the little TNT detonator there. I think this is so cool. <laughs> Larry did a great job with this. <laughs> so now I got both the Roadrunner and Wile E., and uh, I'm, I'm happy camper. Brings back such great childhood memories. Uh, check out buttons for your britches on Instagram. Uh, I'll put I'll put that below so you know how to spell it. Uh, Larry's a great guy, and man, does he make some good tampers. And the problem is, he's found a way to make them collectible, and I want them all. Uh, so, boy, Halloween is coming on, and. It's always a time I enjoy. You know, I love putting together my, my annual Halloween video. We did uh, Hammer, the, the Hammer Frankenstein films this year. I, I enjoyed the heck out of that. We did a, a new thing where we did a, a ghost story session on uh, using Zoom and putting that into the Friday live stream. And I think that worked really well. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I know the guys involved enjoyed it, and I've got a lot of positive feedback about it. So that was that was a good time. I'd love to use Zoom more. Uh, I, I would really like to find a way to do that. What I didn't like about Ghost Stories, I have to admit, is that because I was involved with the guys in, in Zoom and you know kind of keeping that going, I couldn't interact with the guys in the chat as much as I would have liked to do. So... That was unfortunate, but we might be able to come up with a way to to, to deal with that. Uh, I just got to give it some more thought. If you have any ideas on how we can incorporate that and, and make things a little more interactive, I'd be all for it. Did some work in a shop this morning. I'm working on a... Uh, I think it's a 7LE6, it's unfinished, I think it's a 626, it's a bent apple, I, I can't keep the number straight. Um, the customer wants me to make it into a Ginger's Favorite style pipe, so a you know semi-church warden type thing. And I got the stem uh, through all the rough shaping, I'm starting to do the fine shaping, uh, and it's, uh, it's shaping up. <laughs> and that is actually the last, the last project for the year. So once that's done, I am going to shut down for the year and I've got a lot of stuff I want to do in the shop and I might show you some of that as I'm, as I'm going through it. The main thing is I want to get the rest of the, the wall where you've seen that corner of the shop where I've got the Eagles poster and I want, I want to get the rest of that wall finished and I want to move a desk in over there that I hope is going to fit. It's on the other side of the the shop. I'm looking at it now, and now I'm looking at the space, and I think it's going to fit. <laughs> we'll see. 
and that would just be a sort of a multi-purpose area. I want to do fly tying there. I've got some electronics work I want to do uh, related to to ham radio and stuff like that. Uh, so it'll be it won't be set up permanently for anything. Uh, it'll be a nice place to to pack things up before I send them out. You know that kind of stuff. Because right now I don't have an area like that. I have to clear off the workbench in order to to do that stuff. Not necessarily a bad thing because that makes me clean up more frequently. But we shall see. So yeah, November's here. We're we're off and running. I mean, the, my wife's been watching Hallmark Christmas movies since July, so I don't know, don't know that there's anything different on that front. I know the stores were were already having Christmas decorations up and stuff. I'm hoping after Tuesday, and I'm not in any way trying to diminish Tuesday, but I'm hoping that after Tuesday which I'm talking about the elections, uh, we can start the move towards some sense of normality and I'd really love to see us be somewhat normal by Christmas. We shall see what happens. I've probably said this before, but I've been told that there's a, an ancient Chinese curse, which is, may you live in interesting times. Yeah. I guess we've been cursed. Anyway, folks, I think I've wasted enough of your Sunday. I really appreciate you stopping in to have a smoke with me and spend a little bit of time. Maybe even have some coffee or something else. So, with that, I'm going to let you go. You have a fantastic rest of your Sunday and a great week ahead. I'll try to check in on Wednesday. If not, I'll see you Friday night. Friday night we got uh, Signal Man Tony from Rhode Island as our guest. So I'm really looking forward to getting to know Tony a bit better. That should be a fun show. So please try to join us 8 p.m. Friday. And uh, again, I'll try to try to check in with you in the middle of the week, uh, especially in the post-election period. We'll see how things go. Whatever you do, vote. All right, guys. You have a good one. And until we speak again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Bye now. Meep, meep.